Universal Credit will replace income support, job seekers allowance if it's income based, employment support allowance if it's income based, child and working tax credits and housing benefit. So the date that the government's currently working to for these big changes is October 2013. That date may change, but at the moment that's what we think is going to be the date. If you're already claiming one of the benefits that we've just listed, the government's plan is that you'll be transferred across to Universal Credit. The transfer will start from April 2014 and it's planned that everybody will be transferred across within three years of that date. The big changes with Universal Credit are Universal Credit is paid once a month in arrears. If you rent your home, you will no longer be able to have your housing costs paid directly to your landlord, unless you are considered vulnerable. The benefit covering your rent will be paid to you as part of your Universal Credit. Most working age customers will have to pay rent directly to their landlord. If you do not pay the rent on time, you may lose your home. There are extra rules around looking for work. If the job centre decides you are not keeping to these rules, your benefit may be reduced or stopped. If you are a couple, you cannot claim pension credit until you are both of pensionable age. Until then, you have to claim universal credit. Universal credit claims go direct to the Department for Work and Pensions, the DWP, and are expected to be made online. You must also tell DWP about any changes of circumstances online. So Universal Credit is going to be administered by the Department of Work and Pensions, but local councils and advice agencies can offer some local support if you're struggling to go online or make the claim for benefits. Advice agencies can also help you if you think there's something wrong with your claim or you might be owed benefits that have not been paid to you. There are some practical steps that you can take to cope with the changes. Make sure you're claiming all the benefits that you're entitled to now. This will help you have more money and also claiming certain benefits will help protect your income as benefit changes take effect. To protect yourself from universal credit changes, make sure that you're claiming all the benefits that you're entitled to before universal credit starts. This will help protect some benefits for a certain period of time when universal credit starts. This is called transitional protection. If you or your partner are a pension credit age, make sure you check if you're entitled to pension credit. Even if it's just a small amount, make sure you're claiming it. Having a bank account is important. You can have your wages and benefits paid into it, and you can also pay your bills with it. If you have had trouble opening or managing a bank account before, don't let this put you off. There are different types of accounts. There's your credit union account and your basic bank account, and we have advisors who can help you set them up. Universal Credit aims to ensure you are better off in work and makes it easier to start a new job or work more hours. Universal Credit aims to ensure that for every additional hour you work, you will be better off whether you work full-time or part-time. The Department for Work and Pensions has a range of advice and support to help you find a job. This includes job search advice, training and in-work benefit. For further information, talk to your local Job Centre Plus office. Using direct debit to pay your bills is one of the best ways to make sure that everything gets paid on time. This is particularly important with your priority bills like rent and council tax. Once you've set up a direct debit, you can be confident that your bills are going to be paid every month. Some companies will offer you a discount or other incentive to pay by direct debit. difficult making sure that your money stretches to pay for things that you really need. Careful monthly budgeting can really help. Have a look at how you manage your money. 
If you currently budget weekly, think about how you will manage with monthly payments when you move to Universal Credit or start to earn a monthly salary. Can you save money by getting better deals on your gas, electricity, water or phone bill? If you owe money to other people or companies, get some advice on how you can budget to get these debts paid off as soon as possible, especially priority debts like rent, council tax, gas and electricity. If you repay debts out of your benefits, you may be able to agree smaller, regular payments. It's never been more important to get online and to learn to use the internet. When Universal Credit arrives, all applications will need to be made online. And so many other organisations and businesses expect you to access their services online too. There are lots of free courses out there where you can learn to use the internet and even if you're a complete beginner. All libraries offer free internet access and they can signpost you to where courses are available in your area. And if you already know a little bit about computers and are ready to take the next step, one of the best free courses out there is the Online Basics course. This helps you to get to grip with using computers and the internet and you can find it at www.learnmyway.com. Whitefriars and Henley College have teamed up to offer you a course to help you get online. The course is free if you claim tax credits or benefits and is offered in six different locations across the city. It is designed to give you the basic skills you need to use the internet effectively. To find out more, call 02476 626 444 or visit www.whitefriarshousing.co.uk. To sum up, make sure you understand the changes being made to benefits and take the following actions. Get a benefits check. Look at your monthly budget. Get employment if you're out of work. Make sure you have a bank account that your wages and benefits can be paid into. Pay off any arrears, especially rent and other priority debts. Set up direct debits. Get online to take advantage of services on the internet. The following organisations are working together to support customers through these changes and can give you further advice and support. So many thanks for watching this film, we hope it's been of use to you. There's a lot of information in this film, but it is critical information, information that will affect most people watching this film today. So please do everything you can to make a note of the changes and action, what affects you. We're here to help you. Talk to us, go to the websites, pop into your local area housing office, talk to your local housing officer. We're here to help and do everything we can to ease these changes in for you, but do talk to us. Many thanks for your time watching this film today. Thank you.